Ayush, do you know how to copy and paste text? I am not sure. Let us ask the teacher in the class. Hello kids. In the last class, we learned about the alphanumeric keys on the keyboard. Now, we will learn about some commonly used keyboard layouts and some special keys. QWERTY keyboard is the most commonly used keyboard. The name of this keyboard is based on the first six alphabet keys of the keyboard. AZERTY keyboard is considered to be the standard French keyboard. This keyboard was developed in France as an alternative to the QWERTY keyboard. This keyboard is also used in other European countries. This keyboard puts emphasis on accents which is used in many European languages like French. We have already learned about the two main types of keys on the keyboard that is alphabet keys and number keys. We also learnt about some symbol keys like backslash, comma, colon, double quotes, single quote, lesser than, greater than. On an English QWERTY keyboard, there are 40 symbols arranged on 28 keys. There is a difference in numbers because some of the keys have two symbols. As you can see, there are some symbol keys on the keyboard which have two symbols on them, while some have a number and a symbol on it. To type the upper symbol, you need to press and hold the shift key along with the symbol or number key. Let us now look at the special keys. The special keys are used to perform special functions. The special keys on the keyboard are caps lock, num lock, backspace, delete, enter, tab, escape, shift key, control, alt, function keys, arrow keys. Let us see the functionality of these special keys. Let us start with the shift key. There are two shift keys on a QWERTY keyboard. The shift key can be used to type capital letters and to type symbols that appear on the upper half of a key. The shift key works when you press and hold it down while pressing another key. For example, shift plus small a gives capital A. To type the upper symbol on the key, you need to press and hold the shift key along with the symbol key. Shift plus 1 gives exclamation. The tab key, short for tabulator key or tabular key, is a key on a computer keyboard found right above the caps lock key on the far left. When you tap on the tab key while you are typing, it moves the cursor to the right a few spaces. Using the tab key is helpful when you are typing paragraphs and you need to indent the first line of the text. Let us now learn about the escape key. The short form of the escape key is ESC. It is placed at the top left corner in most of the keyboards. This key allows us to cancel an operation. When you tap on the enter key, while typing, it will drop the cursor down to the next line. There are two enter keys on one keyboard. When you tap on the backspace key while typing, it will remove a character to the left of the cursor. A character can be any letter, number, symbol or space which you have typed. Ma'am, is the backspace key same as the delete key? No, although they both are used to delete a character, 
but they behave differently. When you tap on the delete key while typing, it will remove a character to the right of the cursor, whereas the backspace key removes a character to the left of the cursor. Let us now learn about the control key. There are two control keys on a QWERTY keyboard. The control key works with many other keys to create keyboard shortcuts like cut, copy, paste, select all, etc. Ma'am, can you tell us how to use control keys to copy and paste? Yes, sure. You all must have used copy paste while making drawings on computer or while doing your assignments on computer. Most of the programs like MS Paint, MS Word, etc. have a copy paste menu option in the toolbar. But instead of using the menu option, you can use keyboard shortcut. The shortcut for copy is Ctrl plus C. And the shortcut for paste is Ctrl plus V. The control key needs to be pressed before you tap any other key and should be held down while you press the second key. Let us now learn about the toggle keys, caps lock and the num lock. Caps lock keywords like a switch. It is called a toggle key because it stays on until you press it again. Pressing the caps lock key one time capitalizes each letter typed on the keyboard. When you tap the caps lock key again, the letter keys will now type as the lowercase letters. Caps lock only works on letter keys and does not work on the number keys and symbol keys. The num lock key also works like a switch, just like the caps lock key. It is also called a toggle key because it stays on until you press it again. Pressing the num lock key one time turns on the numbers on the numeric keypad. When you tap the num lock key again, numbers no longer work and the keys have other functions like cursor movement. Alt is most often used in a key combination to perform certain actions such as accessing the options in the file menu or ribbon. For example, Alt plus D selects the URL in the address bar in internet browsers and Control plus Alt plus Dell opens the Windows Task Manager. The top row of the keyboard contains 12 function keys marked from F1 to F12. Every function key has a unique role and meaning. For example, pressing F1 key opens the help of the application you're using. This set of four keys is called arrow keys or cursor keys. Arrow keys are used to move the cursor in any direction on the computer screen. The four arrow keys are up, down, left and right. Before we end this class, please type the following text on your keyboard to practice all the special keys. I know that 3 into 3 is equal to 9. I know that 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. I know that 10% of 100 is equal to 10. The cost of 20 hashtag potato packets at the rate of 50 is equal to 1000. 2 plus open bracket 3 plus 4 close bracket is equal to 2 plus open bracket 2 plus 4 close bracket.
20 is less than 25. 25 is greater than 10. For more such interesting videos, please subscribe to our channel Head Start Learning. <laughs>